draw a house in two point perspective, first draw a horizontal line in the middle of your page. And next we can draw a cross at each end of this horizontal line for the two vanishing points where all the lines of the sides of the house will go. Draw a vertical line for the side of the house. Now draw two more diagonal lines from this vertical line to the left vanishing point and then two more lines to the right vanishing point. Draw two vertical lines for the sides of the house. Now draw a triangle on the left for the roof. Next draw a line from the top of the triangle to the right vanishing point. Now copy your triangle line on the right of the roof. Next we can draw a chimney using the same diagonal roof line and drawing some vertical lines and a horizontal top of the chimney will go to the right vanishing point. In this way we can find the base and the top of the chimney because we can read along these lines to the right vanishing point and also to the left vanishing point. Once we've got the basic shape of the house in two point perspective, it's time to darken some of the pencil lines. I'll also extend the line of the roof so that it overhangs the front of the building and also the back of the building a bit. Again, these lines will go to the left and the right vanishing points because they're diagonal lines. And now I think I want the ground floor of the house to be slightly smaller than the first floor. So to do that, I need to draw a diagonal line. I'll make it slightly lower than the horizontal line that we drew, the first line that we drew in this drawing. And then this diagonal line will go again towards the vanishing points on the left and the right. And that will split the house in two. Now the uprights, the three lines that show the uprights of the building, I can just bring them in a little bit and that will make the ground floor of this house slightly smaller than the top floor so it overhangs. Next I'll add some vertical lines to show the sides of any doors or windows that I'm going to add to this drawing. Now all of these lines need to be vertical with the other vertical lines that we've got and the vertical edge of your paper as well. I can draw the top and the bottom of the windows by just drawing diagonal lines going to either one of the two vanishing points and this will mark the shapes of the windows. So now for the rest of the drawing I'll make the pencil lines darker again and add some smaller details to the windows and window frames of the house. I'm going to add some trees here. To draw this tree, I just draw a tree trunk at first and then just a few branches. And then here, towards the top of the tree, I'll just draw in a sketch in some basic shapes, the basic sketch of a tree. I'm trying to get the movement of the tree rather than any details within it. I'm going to draw a road here, sort of sweeping around in the foreground. Two big curves bend quite a lot. 
and then I'll add some trees and other bushes and maybe I don't want the road going all the way to the horizon so I'll put a bush in front of it so we can't really see where the road goes. So for all these trees and bushes I want to just give an indication of the shapes and to do that I'll just make some loose sketch like marks. For this drawing I used a 4B pencil, a blending stamp and an eraser. If you don't have a blending stamp you could just smudge with your fingers or use an eraser to smudge the pencil lines. Or indeed just draw the pencil lines more softly than I have. I'll add some shadows too to this drawing. So I'm imagining that the light's coming from the right hand side so I'll put shadows on the left of everything. And then for this large tree next to the house. I want to have it so that the tree casts a shadow along the ground and then the shadow follows up along the contours of the house as well. And then the bush on the right can also have a shadow going across the road. Thank you very much for watching this video, I hope you find it useful for your own drawings. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel Circle Line Art School where you'll find over 200 of my how to draw videos and I post a new drawing every Saturday.